Today, former Theranos executive Ramesh Sunny Balwani was sentenced to nearly 13 years in prison due to his role regarding fraud within Theranos. ABC 7 News reporter Dustin Dorsey was in court. After Elizabeth Holmes was sentenced to 135 months or just over 11 years in prison for her role in fraud at Theranos, Today, former COO Ramesh Sunny Balwani learned his fate. Federal Judge Edward Davila made his ruling and sentenced Balwani to 12 years and nine months in prison. His attorney, Jeff Coopersmith, spoke briefly after the sentencing. I'm not going to comment on Mr. Balwani's reaction. As I said, we're um, disappointed with the outcome and we respectfully disagree with the outcome and we're going to appeal. While Balwani chose not to speak today, the U.S. government and defense team argued 39 objections for multiple hours this morning before the sentence came down. They included enhancements for the amount of victims involved, who was the organizer for fraud at Theranos, whether there was risk of bodily injury or death due to the fraud, and how much financial loss investors suffered. The judge ultimately added enhancements for victim count and total loss, finding the loss to investors was $120 million. Legal analyst Stephen Clark says this sentence is a message to Silicon Valley. Ms. Holmes and Mr. Balwani got the book thrown at him, and I think the message was if you cross the line into fraud and when you look at the amount of loss here, that was what the result was for today. With the adjustments considered by the judge, the range of the sentence for Balwani was somewhere between 135 months and 168 months in prison. The government argued for at least 180 months. The defense sought probation. They argued Balwani didn't seek fame or fortune from the fraud. He wanted to help people with this technology that he believed could change the world. The defense believed Holmes should face a harsher sentence due to her role. But ultimately, Balwani received nearly 13 years, a punishment more than Holmes, after he was found guilty on all counts of wire fraud and conspiracy to commit wire fraud. Cooper Smith says he does not regret taking the case to represent Balwani. And Mr. Balwani is a, is a good person. He meant well, and I'm honored and proud to represent him as my colleagues are as well. Balwani received a surrender date to serve his prison sentence on March 15, 2023. In San Jose, Dustin Dorsey, ABC 7 News.